Hello everyone, I'm Martin Brisson, welcome. And today I want to talk about a special kind of gaslighting, if we can say that everybody knows a, a bit about what gaslighting is, you know, it's when um, somebody questioned the valid validity of uh, your emotions, of your experience, or um, your thoughts, um, your memory, your reality. But how about doing that to yourself? Because some people have a knack to gaslight their own reality themselves, no? Um, so do you gaslight yourself? That's, uh, I guess, uh, the question, you know? Um, so once it's, it's more when you become your own abuser, in a sense, so that little voice in the background uh, that tells you that uh, you shouldn't feel that way, uh, you have the wrong perception, you have the wrong opinion, and somebody else has a more valid reality or more valid reality than, uh, than, than your own. And uh, yeah, you just question yourself. And after a little while, well, yeah, it has an effect on your own self worth, right? Because you don't, your own, you, you don't see the validity of your own experience, your own emotions, your own uh, thinking. And it starts usually fairly young. You no, know, it could start innocently uh, with a parent. You no, know, usually it's parents. You no, know, let's say you hurt yourself, and the parents say, no, you're not hurt. No, I'll give you a reason no, to, to, to cry about. Um, and those, those, those sort, of, uh, sort, of, sort of things. Oh, you're such a drama queen. You overreact. And you just grow up um, questioning the validity of your emotions, the validity of your own experience. And now you're an adult and you carry that little voice in, in the background questioning uh, the validity of your or your of your opinion of your thoughts of your uh, of your of your feelings you might not even realize that you do that to yourself no um, it can show up in different ways no not only always questioning what you're thinking but you like I said you doubt you 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 doubt yourself uh, you put everybody else's feeling above your own as well. Uh, you cannot stand on your own two feet and say, no, okay, that has to stop. Um, so as soon as you notice, you become aware of that pattern to question the validity of what you're thinking or to put everybody else's feeling above your own, but that's a step in the right direction. Once you become aware that's what's going on, that's a good thing, you know? Um, and you can question the thought. When that thought says, oh, no, your reality is not... Um, you have the wrong perception or whatever. And then you can question it. Is it true? Is it really true? Do I really get it wrong? No. Um, And yeah, just question the thoughts. Well, become your own best friend. No, if you put everybody else uh, above your uh, above you, no, you can say, "What will I tell my best friend about that situation?" And then do that for yourself. <laughs> oh, become your own best friend, and doubt the validity of the inner critic. No, it's just the ego talking. And the ego usually has things totally wrong, <laughs> okay? So when you question your self-worth or questioning your, the validity of whatever is going on, well, you can question that little voice because that voice is going to lie to you 100% of the time. So that's all I had uh, to tell you today. And on that, I'll probably uh, catch you next time. Cheers.